What is going on everybody? Django Pops here with some more Ultimate Alliance 3. Uh, here we'll be looking at a, looks like an X-Men gameplay trailer. So um, actually in one of my last videos I was talking about how it seemed to, uh, the character roster seemed to be lacking of X-Men. And it looks like this is the uh, answer to that. This is the little call to a little, little response to the criticism that I had. Not necessarily criticism, but just kind of a notice that I had that there weren't that many uh, X-Men characters in it. So maybe we'll be seeing some new characters. Maybe we'll just be seeing a bit more extensive gameplay of the characters we already know. Maybe some X-Men villains. I'm not sure. But this is an actual official trailer, not... um. Uh, Game Informer, excuse me, their uh, exclusive gameplay. It's different from that. It's the actual trailer. So this is my first time seeing this, and it'll be something completely formal, uh, just about the game. So without any further delay, without further ado, let's get into the trailer. Each of these stones is capable of shattering worlds. A new era for mutant kind is about to dawn. Save some for us, my friend. Why should you always get to have all the fun? There ain't nothing that can stop me! Destroy all new guns. Watch out, purple! Okay. Turn the Infinity Stones to us at once, or suffer for all eternity. Perhaps an alliance is called for after all. Alright, alright, I got, I got, um, hilarious. I have a lot to talk about. Um, a whole lot, because I wanted to say something, like, from the very start, but I was just holding out because I was uh, just wanted to let the trailer play through once before I start over analyzing um all right so here we go way too slow that is almost certainly Dormammu Pro yeah that's Dormammu that's Dormammu uh he's in possession of I think that's the reality gem I can't remember but Dormammu has the gem uh you'll probably have to fight him at some point uh let's see here We've got Professor X, Psylocke, Wolverine, Cyclops, Colossus, Beast, Storm, and Nightcrawler. Um, of these characters, I believe Nightcrawler, Storm, Wolverine. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, just them. They were uh, the only ones that were confirmed. But from what I've seen in the gameplay, it actually looks like Psylocke is also playable. I didn't see Cyclops or uh, Colossus, but maybe they'll be playable as well. Uh, if not, they'll probably be in the story. Here's Magneto. Gonna be fighting him. That's... Oh yeah, I like Magneto a lot. Um, what's that? Is that the power gem? He has one of the gems too. Um, from the looks of it at the end of the trailer, he actually teams up with the X-Men. So he won't be fighting him for long, it seems. But um, he's in possession of a gem. I probably have to get it from him before he actually decides to tag along. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, wait. Okay, Wolverine. Okay, never mind. It's Wolverine, Iron Man, Gamora, Captain Marvel. Actually, no one knew. Um, it looks like they're. Yep, they're fighting Magneto. Yeah, Magneto. Excuse me. Um, so this is actually a different part of the X Men here. This is like a bit more of a destroyed version here. It looks like probably after. Magneto attacks uh, the X Mansion or whatever it's called, the X Men Mansion. I'm just gonna call it the X Mansion. Uh, I don't know if that's the name or not, but I'm gonna call it that. Looks like he has a shockwave attack that uh, will blow back the enemy, to blow back the uh, characters if they're not prepared for it. See, because um, Captain Marvel was blocking, everyone else is wailing. Uh, Iron Man and Captain Marvel are blocking while Gamora and Wolverine are trying to get hits in, and. They get knocked back while Wolverine and Captain Marvel just get sort of pushed back. Uh, this looks like Daredevil 
and Storm going up against a Sentinel also I think at the X Mansion just before it's like all destroyed and stuff. Oh, Scarlet Witch too. Hey Scarlet Witch. Um, another part of the X Mansion against some more Sentinels. Those Sentinels looked weird. Uh, ooh, that's a cool Doctor Strange attack. Also Mystique and Juggernaut. Very excited. Um, I'll get to them in a second though. I saw something with, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, oh dude that's Iron Fist, that's totally Iron Fist, um, I don't know if he was confirmed in the list or not, but he's definitely playable, just saw him, um, looks like Doctor Strange has a beam attack that'll go across the screen, he makes a little, um, hologram, not a hologram, but a copy of himself that does a beam on the other side while he does it on one side, sort of similar to uh, Groot and Rocket's attack, except it's a beam going both ways instead of a uh, physical attack and a long range attack. Against the Sentinels again, I think they're in the area of the X-Mission that we already saw from the uh, first trailer. So we've got Mystique, Magneto, and Juggernaut all looking very, very cool. Um, there was something interesting with Juggernaut that I wanted to bring up. I don't actually know if they showed anything with Mystique yet, but... Uh, okay, so looks like here you'll be fighting all of them, right? Yeah, no, that's Mystique. Okay, so you'll be fighting all three of them in uh, the X Mansion. Unless, are you fighting against four people? No, you're not. Okay, there's also Hawkeye. Um, he's doing Hawkeye stuff though. Um, then Nightcrawler and Psylocke come through. And they... I wonder if that's a part of the story, if like you'll actually unlock them through this fight or not. Um, looks like they're fighting against uh, Mystique and Juggernaut. Nightcrawler has a... he uses his swords actually in this one. I don't know if he used his swords before in uh, the first game. But it looks like he has a sort of... trying to get a good actual like shot of it. Yeah, he does like a spin attack with his swords there. Um, and then we got Psylocke. I like Psylocke's design in this one. She usually, I don't think she usually has her hair like in a ponytail. It looks cool like that. And she also uses her swords. Oh, she has like a spiral uh, rising attack. This is the part with Juggernaut that interested me. Um, I'm sure it's common in most video games, but the thing that it reminds me of most is um, in Teen Titans, this is a like, 2006 game I think I don't know if anyone knows it but there's a part in that game where you have to run away from a drill and there's like obstacles in your way and also there's enemies looks like that'll be similar uh, that'll probably be very fun we've got here uh, Nightcrawler, Psylocke, Spider-Gwen and is that a Drax all running yep you gotta jump over the obstacles and probably I don't know if you'll have to fight him but you'll probably get damaged or something if you don't run fast enough uh, you got the Sentinel. So Beast. Oh, there's Vision too. Uh, Beast is actually here. So he's definitely in the game, but I don't know if he's playable. Uh, they have not showed him. Um, showed any gameplay of him with anyone like playing as him. Uh, this Sentinel looks different. It has like a crown on or something. Um, don't know exactly what it is, but it looks cool. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, so maybe Beast is playable. Or maybe he's just in the story, I can't tell. Um, going up against the Sentinels again. Psylocke doing the little rising. I wonder if that's a special or if that's one of her basic attacks. Like a strong attack or something. Um, oh, that's cool! So if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I think Wolverine and Psylocke just did a team attack where they both sort of did the little rising slash that uh, Psylocke does. Yeah, that, that almost looks like they certainly did a team attack. I can't tell exactly. Uh, hit Magneto out of the air with it. Whatever it may have been. Uh, so that'd be cool if they have a tag attack like that. Um, don't know exactly what's happening here. I think the uh, black border is touching down. Looks like Proxima and I think that's happening. Is that Ebony? I can't remember. Um, it's definitely Proxima though. And I don't think they're working with 
anyone except themselves. So that'll probably be why um, Magneto decides to turn around and help out the heroes. Also, it looks like she attacked him first, so. So it's a spear, that's cool. This whole game's cool. Um, that is also a very nice shot. Deadpool is here. I don't know if how he'll fit into the uh, story necessarily, but he's along with the X-Men as well. Um, and I think that's about to be the end of the trailer. He still has the power gem, so maybe you don't actually get it from him. Maybe he uh, keeps it and uses it to fight along with you. Pepper Strange, Scarlet, Psylocke, Wolverine. And then there is the release date, uh, July 19th. Um, then there's a little bit with uh, Deadpool here at the end. Um, but yeah, I think that was it. So definitely confirmation on some new X-Men characters, um, even if they're not playable. We've got Mystique, Magneto, and Juggernaut all in the game. Um, Nightcrawler and Psylocke, both definitely playable, as you can see. Uh, multiple instances in this trailer. Uh, there'll be a sort of Juggernaut boss fight. Uh, maybe another fight against the Sentinels, looks like? Or maybe this is the same fight and it's just a continuation of it. Not too sure. Um, so from these cutscenes, it looks like you'll actually be required to play with certain characters at like certain instances, which I don't think is a like common thing. I think you're usually allowed to pick whoever you want, but it looks like this time around, they'll actually uh, be impacting the story directly. So maybe you'll have to play as Wolverine or maybe have to play as just some X-Men characters uh, for this one. Got the Sentinels again. Black Order showing up. Attacks Magneto and Magneto decides to join the Alliance. Um, Alright, so I think that is all for this one. Um, yeah, so it's very interesting to see that not only um, are there some more X-Men villains that'll be a part of the story, but there's also some playable um, X-Men characters, such as Psylocke that'll be in the game. Um, I don't, again, it looks like Beast is a part of the story, but I don't know if he's actually playable. Uh, they snuck him in here somewhere, but Iron Fist is here, and he is definitely playable. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he operates in the game uh, later on down the line. I don't remember where it was. Let's see if I can find it again. Yeah, I have no recollection of where it was. But yeah, he's in the game also. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, tried to get as many story details as I could from the trailer, but not too positive on the little speculations that I've had here and there. But I thought this was a very good trailer. Um, confirmed some more X-Men characters, so I'm very happy about that. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this one and just the game in general in the comments below. Um, if you want to watch this trailer for yourself, there will be a link to that in the description below. And make sure to check back here because I will be covering any and all uh, Ultimate Alliance 3 gameplay, trailers, whatever it may be, I will be covering it all before this game comes out. I'm very excited for it. But that is all I've got for this one. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. My name is Django Pops and I will see you in the next video.